What's up, folks? Uh, headed to Lock One this morning for a little practice. Got uh, assassins tomorrow over there. You know, historically this year, my problem on that lock has been missing fish like crazy. Uh, you know, I, I've hooked up on some really good fish this year over there and missed them all. And I'm not going to hit my spots today. I mean, I might look at them, but I'm not going to hit them. Because I know the fish are there. I'm trying to find something else. Maybe I can get a little lemon at least tomorrow. But lock's been tough lately. It really has. But the thing is, is the fish that have been caught have been good fish. So, you know, you can't argue with the fact that it was a couple months ago they had two fish over eight pounds caught in that darn thing. One of them almost nine. So you can't argue that. So we're going to go see what we can find today. And Get ready for tomorrow. What I'm doing here guys is just scanning along this here stump field. I don't know if you can hear me, my mic's on the other side. But as you can see the grass coming up, the grass on sonar. And the grass line comes out here along the edge a ways. And I'm just trying to see if the fish are stacked on it. And uh, if I can get some fish to come up here tomorrow on this. I'm gonna try some lures here, but Right now, I'm just trying to scan it and see what I can find. There's a little a stump or something out there. That's worth marking on this lot because there's not much out there. Point and a log right there, log safe. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just scanning along here, trying to find the fish, trying to find a mother load of fish school of fish it's hard to do around here but sometimes you can tough just like always on the lock uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a limit tomorrow found some fish some small fish to try to fill out a limit didn't touch my normal fish you know left them alone today and now I'm headed out to Keith's uh, little studio North Shore Fishing Report studio do a little show and uh Hopefully tomorrow I'll have some good footage for you guys to enjoy with uh, epic fish catches and stuff like that, you know, fireworks, bald eagles, American flags, all that stuff. Hope you enjoy it. Good morning. Lock one in the morning. Lock one tournament. Get sandwiches to make. Coffee to make. Well, Coffee's made. Just 
gotta fix it. Say hi. Okay, say good morning. <laughs> you a good girl? Yes, you are. Jimmy and Joe. Well, what was gonna be my morning spot, so I went to my second one. Try to catch us a good fish here. We're gonna come back to this dock because I crushed it. Alright folks, so a wing and a miss. Swing and a miss on the first one. I need a light on it so I can see it. Dang it, Chris. I'm not paying attention. Damn gar. Or something. Yep, gar. Oh, it's a pickle. It's a damn pickle. Flyers. I had to get my hand slime. I huh? have to get my hand slimy. morning my game plan is to hit this for these big ones first the big kickers first and while the sun's on the other side of the trees once the sun pops up this pattern is going to go downhill quick so I'm trying to fish these for now now the literal ones that are up in these little under these trees I can go for those quite a few hours after the sun comes up so we get time for them but these fish right here got very limited time for them so we gotta go after them now I mean that should be a five pounder all day long. Try this again. Take two. You ready at home? Hold on, let me fix the microphone. There we go. Just 
not wanting to bite it, man. I might need one of them little frogs. Did I buy one of those? Out of breath today. I'm really out of breath. Wow. Here he goes, folks. That's what I'm talking about. Vroom, vroom. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Jimmy Doris. You know where he's at at all times. Hey, puppy. Beautiful doggy. Beautiful doggy up there on top. Hi. Been here for 20 minutes. And now you're going to start that. Fishing in there for 20 minutes. You're gonna start that barking now. I present to you the sunrise. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to fishing. Get some monsters. Monsters. Straight monsters, son. Ooh. What is that? Who's that following it? Don't oh. looking at it. Dang it. We'll come back for you. This is gonna be interesting, folks. I got 12 pound line. A whole lot of grass and a stump between me and that lure. If I get a fish, I'll be interesting. That's a good one. Oh, he barely hooked too. Barely hooked. Get up in here. Yeah, you're right. That's a good one. Barely hooked. Got a back freaking hook. Damn. He's about to hook me. Number one. Ooh. See the bait as the sun's they're following the sun as the sun comes up the bait's going over into the middle 
so. The fish should be positioning further out as the day goes on, following the bait. Just wish that wind would pick up, man. On this canal, man, you don't have tide, you don't have current. You just have wind is the only thing that can move the water. It's a very, very, very light southern flow from lock two up in bush down to lock one or down to the weir. But it's just not much. I mean you, you need the wind to blow the, motor, or the water. The little flow is not enough. You need the wind. Once that wind starts blowing, if it's really positioned good. But I'm thinking once it gets sunny, really sunny, these fish are going to move out and feed. Kind of like on a chifonta. But there again, you really need the wind. Doing it without the wind kind of is hard. They got another spot I want to go to. It's kind of treated me well over the years. So I'm going to go to it here in a little bit. See if nobody's on it. It's another thing with the lock, it's so small. Fish is so small. And usually, gonna be people on your spot. Kind of give each other in the morning. You get to your spot. And if you want a certain spot, you, you're gonna have to go to it and camp out on it, claim it. This kind of day here make you want to sell everything. <laughs> yeah. I told Joe yesterday. Uh oh. A damn fish! They live here! Keep, keep them low, they're gonna see them. <laughs> I told Mr. Joe yesterday, I said, I'm, about, I'm probably just gonna launch y'all and go fish somewhere fun. <laughs> I see y'all way in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I only got one. Yeah. I got one decent. I got one decent. If I catch four more like him, I'm just going to the ramp. <laughs> He's about a pound and a half, you know, just under two, huh? He's about a pound and a half, just under two.
Yeah, he done. <laughs> Got 12 pounds. What up? Yeah, you figured you figured wrong. <laughs> I got about twelve. Yeah. I just watched him, he's got thirteen now. All right. <laughs> the troll motor might pull that boat faster than that big motor. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You got seven pounds, you thinking big. <laughs> Why are you up in there poaching my <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Well, no, you were there this morning. I know. I'll, I'll remember that. He still got it. Yeah, he's got it. And I got him now. He'll probably get the line all dinged up, so let's be careful. Bam, fool. Say something. Number two. Number two. Yeah. Let's check that line. We're all good. Hey, I got a fishy. Number two fishy. Makes me feel better about losing that one. Oh, nope, that line is frayed. Great tie. Situation like that, you want to retail. Don't want to take any chances. Not the way I wanted to finish on lock one. I don't know exactly what place I was, but two fish, two hole keepers. Now, yes, if I'd have had three, three more. That size, I'd have done pretty darn good. I think I had four, four with, with two fish, four pounds, four ounces, not bad. But I had three more like them, I'd have done good. So, but hey, that's how it is, you know, don't always get them. Tough, tough day today. Uh, very short, very small strikes. Like the fish would barely hit stuff. Uh, tried different, I mean everything. I tried big frogs, little frogs, chug bugs, 
uh, crankbaits, flipping crawls, uh, well, uh, speed worms. I tried everything I got, flukes. Uh, I ended up catching one keeper on a chug bug, the bigger one, and then a, another one on a frog. I mean, not a frog, a uh, fluke. And that's it. So, I hope, you know, I'm going to make a video anyway of it. You know, the ups and downs, because I did lose some. But, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, basically. Because I'm sure you, this is going to be the end of it. And you've done seen it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed my hot day out, not catching much. See you guys next time. Be careful and have fun out there.